Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Miller. We've settled into a quiet pattern and it set, met, sets for some nice weather across northeast Kansas. Plenty of sunshine across northeast Kansas and some folks hanging on to some high clouds. Some cloud cover is on the way, but right now plenty of sunshine at our Manhattan cam and a view of some of that cloud cover that we're looking at at Holton right now just on the horizon there. Pretty much that other than that blue skies at our Holton cam and currently in central Topeka temperatures are nice. Current temperature is 69 degrees, feels like 69, dew points in the 30s, still dry air in place but wind not really too much of a factor. Wind's pretty calm throughout today. Our low this morning, 39 degrees, three degrees below average. And with that dry air in place, it allows us to warm up quite a bit throughout the day. A 30 degree difference from what we were this morning to our high today. Uh, 69 is our high today, four degrees above our average high of 65. And now everybody's pretty much in the upper 60s and a few lower 70s. 67 at Burlington, 70 at Junction City, 68 currently at Marysville. And wind's not really too much of a factor, pretty variable in direction around five to at times closer to 10 miles per hour. Generally though, pretty calm throughout pretty much anywhere that you go. Now throughout tonight, we'll bottom out in the lower to middle 40s, a few upper 40s, especially farther south and east. Tomorrow, a lot like what we saw today, upper 60s and lower 70s, a little bit more cloud cover, but very consistent in our weather pattern. Some of what we've seen the last couple of days or so. Winds as we go into tonight will remain calm, not really too much of a factor. Early tomorrow, winds will be calmer, but by tomorrow afternoon, winds will pick up a little bit about 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll gradually see winds continue to pick up throughout tomorrow night and into Thursday. So Wednesday night into Thursday, winds uh, will be out of the northwest about 20 to at times 25 miles per hour. And then Thursday afternoon, that'll be the windiest day that we'll see on the seven day here. Winds out of the northwest 20 to 30 miles per hour. We could see wind gusts as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour and still drier in place. Could see a risk for some wildfires. Certainly something we're watching for Thursday afternoon. Not much as of rain, but we are talking about a very slim rain chance for tonight and tomorrow. A system off towards our south. Right now we are uh, quiet. Some cloud cover building in from our south and west, but here is the storm system that we're talking about. Really centered over the Texas Panhandle and now bringing all sorts of rain towards Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle. Now moving into northwestern Oklahoma. That little batch of rain that we're looking at right there will slowly track towards the north and east, giving us a very slim rain chance for some folks, especially the farther south and east that should go. Let's go ahead and time this out for you. Cloud cover builds in throughout tonight, uh, partly cloudy to at times a mostly cloudy sky and some on and off showers possible, really I-70 towards the south and towards the east throughout tonight into early on Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, that kind of chance of rain really focuses in our far south and eastern counties. Not a soaker by any means, but certainly some folks may see some light rain and some drizzle at times throughout Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, primarily I-35 and towards the south. That moves out by Wednesday night into Thursday, and we dry out, and then we start to get warm as we go into the weekend. So rain chances throughout tonight, not a very high chance, pretty much uh, well, in our south, southern and southeastern counties. And then Wednesday increases a little bit towards the north, especially Wednesday morning. Give us a 20% chance of rain in Topeka and Lawrence off towards the south and east, a higher chance of rain at that. Your seven day forecast, a high tomorrow, 69 degrees. Winds out of the northeast, 10 to 20 miles per hour, 69 on Thursday. After that rain chance tonight and tomorrow, we quiet down, getting windy on Thursday. Then we settle into a very warm pattern, 74 on Friday, 85 on Saturday, getting to 90 degrees on Sunday. It'll be the first time we've hit 90 this year. Last year, it took us until May to hit that 90 degree mark. That's looking like a good weekend to me. I don't know how you guys feel. Yeah, <laughs> you go Inside, the lake or something, it'll, it'll be a little bit chilly, I think, though, if you go into the lake or any water, because I mean, it's just been you know, just too cool. I got to check movie listings. I got to be in a cool theater. Yeah, no, no kidding. If it's going to be that hot, yeah. at least for a couple of hours. I'm going to be outside. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Eli, thank you so much. Put that on social media so we can verify. <laughs>